How many of you would agree with me that if you lost your memory entirely, it would negatively impact almost every facet of your life? It's a true statement. Therefore, here's the good news. You're not going to lose your memory. Not if I have anything to do about it. You and I are going to lock arms and we're going to create some goals. And that goal is we're going to begin the process of dramatically boosting your memory power. But if you and I have already agreed that losing your memory would negatively impact almost every facet of your life, improving your memory has to do what? Positively influence almost every facet of your life. Energetic. It's, it's, it's bouncy. He gets all over the floor. He gets everybody involved. I love the way he does that. I thought he was dynamic, captivating, wonderful to watch. In the information age that we live in now, we're bombarded with information. We're on the information superhighway. And so we have to read more than people had to years ago. We're getting exposed to more on the news. We have more pressures around us in terms of environmental pressures, social pressures. The, the pace at which we live is so much faster than it was even 20, 40, 50 years ago. Yet, we're enslaved or entrapped into using learning methods that, quite frankly, are antiquated. We're using learning methods people were using hundreds of years ago which is called rote memory or memory by repetition. So what we're going to do is, just like we've upgraded our technology, just like the computer at work that's three years old and it's already obsolete, we have to upgrade the computer between our ears, the software between our ears, to keep pace with today's society. I think the program is great. I, I learned more about memory today uh, and how to visualize. It's fantastic how fast his technique works. He's excellent. He's really good. He uses a lot of humor. Right to the point. It's very instrumental. It's easy to grasp. Now, I'm going to give you a little glimpse into the future. This is what you're going to be like by the time you conclude this program. You will have the knowledge, the foundation, to be able to read a book once and remember what you've read. The people who will get the most from these educational experiences are the people who remember the most. Because you cannot apply a skill that you can't remember. True? So we're going to talk about enhancing the value of all of your future learning experiences. That's why Michael Jeffries has me, has me come here and teach this program. Because he understands if you have a strong foundation of memory, you'll enhance the value of the future speakers that you encounter, the future learning experiences that you engage in. The other thing you're going to be able to do is deliver speeches and presentations without notes or note cards. Because we all have to give presentations of one form or another. Sometimes it's a one-on-one -on -one communication, sometimes it's to a group of people. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to improve your study skills. So if you're studying for a work-related test, if you're a student in school and you're preparing for a vocab test, a math test, a history test, etc., we're going to show you how to be better prepared for those things. And then we're going to climax the workshop with the most highly sought after area of memory development, which is how to instantly recall names and faces. I think every one of us in this room can relate to the embarrassment of running into someone who is the lifeblood of your business, a customer, that you promised personal service to, personal attention, and you said, Blaine, the reason we were so successful in our industry is we don't forget about our customers. I'll always be there for you to go the extra mile. And sure enough, it's six months later, a year later, two years later, you're at Dunkin' Donuts, you're dining out at your favorite restaurant, you want to relax and enjoy and forget about work, and all of a sudden you run into someone, and they say, hey, Art, how are you? It's good to see you again. And you look up and you go, oh my goodness, I know that face. I know I've done business with that person for the life of me. I can't remember their name. Has that ever happened to anyone? Wait. So we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen to you in the future. 